manifestation, right, is actually the intersection of a calm nervous system and then realizing you're worthy, right? So your, your body physically has to be open to the universe receiving things and you have to believe that you can receive. And once that happens, 100%, I have seen this happen time and again with clients. It happens with us all the time. That That's when the energy shifts and the universe gives you exactly what you want. The hardest part for most people is realizing and deciding what they want, right? And and often when I sit down with clients to do coaching or when we talk to people in DMs, you know, we have a lot of people who will reach out to us and they're like, I feel really stuck. I don't know what I want to do. I'm like, well, what do you want? And they're like, I don't know actually what I want, right? So a lot of the work we do with people, you know, both one-on-one and then also in our Fresh Starts community and all that, um, is just kind of talking to people about what makes them happy and what brings them joy. Yeah. So it's it's like figuring out what you want and then number two, believing that you're worthy of of having that. And I mean, that's another topic that can also go deep. Like how do you undo those beliefs that you're you're not worthy and that you don't deserve this? Like Olivia, do you want to say something about that? I feel like, you know, I love this question. This is literally what I do all the time. So a lot of those beliefs, um, let me go back for a second. We can only process as human beings, a certain amount of information every day right? So we take in a certain amount of information, our brain will dilute that information, it processes it, it stores it in places. From the time we are in the womb, this happens. And we are then internalizing the things that we're taking in. So if you are taking in information that maybe you're not worthy, right? From a couple of things maybe your parents said or a neighbor kid said or whatever, some teacher at school said, right? When you're a kid, you're going to internalize that you are not worthy. When you get to a certain point in your life and you want to do that inner work and heal, a lot of that subconscious work can be done by things like journaling, but also hypnosis, which is going into a deep meditation and working with a special, you know, a clinical hypnotherapist to reprogram those thoughts, right? Hypnosis is literally just going into a deep meditation and opening up again, just like with a calm nervous system, opening up your, your subconscious mind to reprogram and reprocess where those thoughts are coming in. And Our subconscious loves repetition, right? So listening to subliminal audios, which are awesome. You can get them online. There's a lot of wonderful people who make them. Tapping, uh, emotional freedom technique, which is wonderful. I use it all the time, even with my kids. And, uh, you know, also just, uh, again, working on your nervous system regulation and then bringing in a lot of positive affirmations. So we work with a lot of people on building positive affirmations. When I do group coaching, uh, we do a lot of positive affirmations. And, you know, if you don't use them um, in a maybe like a correct quote unquote way, it may sound silly. But when you pair those positive affirmations with all of the other internal work that you're doing and the calming your nervous system, you will definitely start to see a shift. But it also, you know, you have to really surround yourself with people who believe in you too, right? Community is huge. We always say community care is self-care. And if you are not surrounding yourself with people who believe in you, it's very hard to believe in yourself. 